The first thing that we've learned since living in the van is that you shouldn't compromise on things that are important to you at home because they're extra important to you in van life. For us, the two big things were having a comfortable place to sleep and having a way to cook healthy, delicious foods um, to save money and not have to eat out all the time. So for us, we spent extra money on these items like our fridge and our mattress and the stove so that we could have a couple more luxuries and just feel that much more comfortable while living in the van. Because I've had back problems for a large part of my life, having a mattress that was really comfortable was important to us. So we ended up going with a slightly more expensive mattress, but it mean, means that we don't, that we're not sleeping on a foamy camping mattress the whole time. So I haven't had a single back problem since we've been in the van. And it's Canadian made. Yeah, <laughs> Dreams can last forever Cause I still dream of you So the second thing we learned is You just have to get on the road We had this trouble for a long time We were working on the van for months and months and months and it never seemed like it was going to end. All of a sudden, it was the middle of September, weather was getting colder where we were from in Alberta, and snow was in the forecast. We had days before we could get things on the road before it snowed. And unfortunately, we were not done the build at that time. We had worked on it for two months, pretty much every day. And we just needed more time. We could always use more time. We could have made things a little bit more polished. We could have always put more effort into a couple more things. But we eventually realized that if we were going to go down the east side of Canada and the U.S., we just had to go. For our next lesson, we're going to meet you on the beach. And waking up together is like heaven. The other guys got cash for days I don't really care cause all my days Got your name on them Sign your name on them I don't see the point of the bling 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 Sleeping on my love for a single ring With your name on it And I ain't sorry, no I just wanna love you I just wanna love you The third lesson that we have Is that the first couple weeks Are gonna be hard And for us or for me, Sean dealt with it better, but for me, I found them really difficult. Even though I had done all this preparing in my head and I, I knew that not everything van life was like Instagram, it still was rough the first couple weeks because, you know, we were stressed about where to sleep and we, were, we didn't have any water, so we couldn't do dishes, so we couldn't cook food. And so we were eating out all the time and it was just, it was a mess. But um, after the first two weeks, it maybe even the first month it took us to really get into things like things got so much better um and one of the things that we did that i would highly recommend is that like if you just need a place to you know open up all your doors and organize everything and have a cleaning day is just get a campsite because for us we decided that if we when we were stressed and like um needed a break on the weekends that a campsite was the best way for us to unwind we could you know do some exercise while we were there and open up all the doors and there's a place to shower and we were allowed to be there to sleep at night and so that was one thing that really helped me get gain comfortability it was just finding a place that i was comfortable and uh yeah even if we had to pay for it we um i'd highly recommend it uh, like the first couple weeks, there was a couple nights where it was like 2 a.m. and we were in a Walmart parking lot and I was just sobbing because I was so overwhelmed and stressed and I couldn't pee in a bottle. <laughs> and <laughs> since then, I've learned to pee in a bottle <laughs> and things have gotten better. You know, we've learned to deal with what we have and it's been honestly wonderful. I've had so much fun. And now let's get ready for the beach. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't want to waste even if the day I don't want
wanna wait any longer. I just wanna love you. So lesson number four is not all Walmarts are created equally. And we don't just mean this as in one Walmart versus another Walmart and one has better parking options than the other. No, no. We're saying every place that we stayed in over the course of this trip has been different. We've had amazing campsites like the ones you'll see on Instagram where it's just beautiful vistas as you open up the doors. We've seen others where it's like we are staying in the middle of a Cracker Barrel beside the most popular highway in America and there's just people going all night. There's sketchy people over there. There's people making noise over there. There's lights above us. We don't even know if we can even stay here. It's not always the same. And as we've learned, Walmarts are pretty awesome. The 24 hour ones are great. Some of the Cracker Barrels have been great as well. We've had really good experiences and really bad experiences in some. We've been kicked out of a couple Walmarts now. And so we've had to move into a couple residential areas. And then we've also had amazing cat I just want to love you. really matters. We've been from minus 2 to plus 25 degrees Celsius and both ends of the extreme have been sort of awful. Well, not too bad, but um, in the minus 2 we've had to use things like buddy heaters and we've had to turn on the car in the middle of the night to make sure that the pipes won't freeze and in plus 25 we're sitting there sweating all night with the fan on full. So we've just had to move with the weather and uh, stay in as warm of weather as we can. All the other guys got girls for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. Pick it down for your hand, girl. This is it. Save me all my love for a single ring with your name on it. So lesson six is how to find free camp spots as you go around the US and Canada. We've been mostly using iOverlander as our main point of reference. It is on the phone, it's on the laptop as well, and it is great for finding those really weird spots. Like we found one in Victoria, Canada, which was right beside the parliament buildings in the like middle downtown that was only a couple dollars a night and no one bothered us. It's also helped to figure out what Walmarts and Cracker Barrels work and which ones don't. We've also used freecampsites.net which has been really great for finding primitive campgrounds which have no facilities at all but in the middle of nowhere and they're usually free. <laughs> Our personal favorite though is for sure Boondockers Welcome. It's a great website that has an annual fee which lets you stay at other people's driveways that are actually RVers and van lifers themselves. It's a great way to meet other people on the road and their places are normally awesome to, they're awesomely located within the city and they also have water and electricity if needed. These guys are great to use. The only thing is you have to be self-contained as it is so that you need a bathroom in there, a sink and your own, I think electrical system as well. But you need to be your own system to be able to stay there. If you can do that though, Really, really, really recommend it. I just wanna love you. I just wanna love every inch of your body. Yeah. I just wanna love every time we say sorry. Big it dad for your hand, girl. This is it. Sleeping on my love for single ring with your name on it And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you I just wanna love you Lesson seven. Yeah, so that brings us to our last lesson. Lesson number seven that we've learned since living in the van. Can we redo that? I just pointed ten, not seven. <laughs> So I guess that brings us to lesson number seven, the last lesson that we've learned since living in the van. Yeah. And that's that um, we've had to learn how to take alone time. Yes. yes. It's never something that we've had to think about before this. And like, because before when we lived in an apartment, of course, like when Sean was at work or I was out with friends, we'd have alone time, but... Or time away from each other. Yeah, and in this small of an area, we need it. 
you have to have it. Yeah. We're always bumping into each other, reaching over each other, and that's fine. Yeah. That's awesome, but it can get a little much at points, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess the seventh lesson is that it's okay to take some time alone and uh, mm -hmm. it's something that you'll definitely have to work on if you're living in a tiny space. Yeah, and being an extrovert, I don't notice it as much. Oh, yeah, I notice it a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's about it, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. One more lesson. Really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have the chance, shower. Okay? Well, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every inch of your body.